I would uh, put a name to it, maybe, um, to this shift, um, which is stories, storytelling. It's actually what changes points of view, no? I mean, at the end of the day, we express wh what we, um, we express what we want to say in the best way possible. We express it through a story, in a sense, um, uh, be it in the form of whatever expression. You, but at the same time, you're telling a story. You know? you're, you're uh, explaining things differently in a way. Um, and, uh, and that's where we're trying to start from. The, the, the film wants to begin from, from this point of knowing, okay, what's next? And how do we, how do we engage in a way that, that it's not necessarily that we have to look for what we're, um, um, that we have to go into the internet and look about an issue that we're interested in. Right. You know, at the same time, we, we want, this this uh, issues to, to we want to have empathy with these issues in a not in a not in a um, in a, um, let's say lazy way that we don't have to make the effort but in a way that uh, that uh, that this these issues hit home in a way and resonate and change something because I can argue that uh, my perception has changed with uh, uh, some theater plays I've seen some films I've seen some music I've heard, some, um, some books I've read, um, and that has been the most life-changing sort of synthesis uh, of, of life, life-changing moments I've ever had. Um, so do you think that, in a way, um, th then there's a reason for these things to exist, like, like art expressions that talk about these issues? You know? Thank God they do, mm -hmm. because otherwise um, I think we could be so much more destructive. You know, we have polarity uh, within us as human beings. We are um, contradictory and it's hard to live with that. And I suppose that goes down to that ir original sort of religious sense of like the angel on one shoulder and the devil on the mm -hmm. other, you know, mm -hmm. sin. And there's the sinner there and there's the angel, you know, the good person, good and the bad. And I think that we have all this potentiality in us and, mm -hmm. and we are conflicted, you know, and how do we live with our desires mm -hmm. that sometimes are not always in our best interest, you know? How can we be our own mentor? Mm -hmm. That's really hard. I know many people who are so gifted, artists, and musicians, and they're very self-destructive and they just, I mean, they could, they could be brilliant, they could be geniuses, but they don't have the capacity to maintain a long-term healthy kind of relationship with themselves so in the end you know they destroy themselves through drink or drugs or suicide or whatever so you know artists do have this right-brained creative kind of way of seeing things and it's not easy mm -hmm. and you, you sometimes think did I make this happen or am I called to do it mm -hmm. do, do you know that quite yeah, yeah. like ooh and um, I mean maybe you should have been a dentist and it's all wrong for you to be an actor. Maybe I should have been yeah. an accountant. I don't know. But don't you think that you're kind of drawn, you kind of get excited about things and you're like, I think this is, wow. I think. I mean, I had an aha, aha moment with music when I went, oh, I get it. Mm -hmm. That's where I want to go. That's where my passion lies. So, it, yeah, it's about finding what is really meaningful to you in life and where mm -hmm. you're, where you feel um, well, I mean, this is this is where you you yeah. really shine. Mm 